Hello everyone, in this video, I would like to share my experience and some tips during my research exchange program at Shibaura Institute of Technology, Japan. So let me introduce myself so you know who am I. My name is Piraya Zira Pipatanapon. You can call me Kaimuk or if it's hard to pronounce my name, you can call me Pearl too. I am a fourth year student majoring in biology at Suranari University of Technology. I have an opportunity to participate in research exchange program at Shibaura Institute of Technology. So my program period was from uh, April 4 to July uh, 22, 2022. Uh, so it will be like approximately four months for researching in Japan. So first of all, I would like to talk about SIT. Uh, after this, I will use SIT instead of um, Chibaura Institute of Technology. So, uh, SIT consists of three campuses. Two are located in Tokyo and one is located in uh, Saitama Prefecture. As you can see uh, on the map, in the map, uh, two of the uh, two campuses including Toyosu and Shibara campus are located in Tokyo and Omiya campus is located in Saitama prefecture. SIT provides two types of mobility programs including sandwich program and research exchange program. For the sandwich program it is the program that you can take course in take like courses that teach in uh, SIT and then you can um, transfer the credit from the crop from the courses that you enroll to your own to to your university and for research exchange program you can do like research at least um, eight days until like one year like the program period until one year. So for myself, I choose um, research exchange program. And I did this program as my international cooperative education program too. In SUT, we have to enroll a cooperative education program, right? To do like some kind of internship. It's similar to internship. And then after that, if we pass this uh, cooperative education program, we can graduate from uh, our bachelor degrees. And then we can work with the institutions that you uh, did your cooperative education. If they give you like the, um, the work or the job, so in this slide, I would like to talk about uh, SIT Omiya campus because it, it is the campus that I work at. Uh, so as you see in this slide, the building six, uh, the picture in, uh, in the right hand, like the top of the slide. So this one is the building six. The building six is the building that my laboratory located. And for the picture that like under the building six is building two, which uh, the place that GLC located. GLC or Global Learning Common is like uh, the uh, the place that support like both international student and also Japanese student. They will hold many like many events and then you can join it too i mean join it too and as you can see uh the in the map the building that uh located uh opposite the campus is global dormitory it, it is the place that i stay there uh during my uh, program so as you know that I as you know that I choose research exchange program, right? So I will talk about my laboratory. So my laboratory is molecular microbiology laboratory. I was a student under Professor Asham Sukhanai. 
In this laboratory, they research low-cost, high-performance solution to control environmental pollution with useful enzymes that harness um, microbes. And also, they developing a technology that use microbes to eliminate harmful substance in the environmental. Oh, I'm sorry, environment. So there are many um, lab member in my laboratory. So there including five uh, master degree students, six bachelor degree students, and three international students, including me. Another two is from, I'm sorry, another two are from uh, Malaysia. So the one that wear green hijab, her name is Charsani. She is uh, my lovely uh, sister here. And then also the one that wear hijab, like the black one, the black hijab, her name is Atira. They both are really nice and they both are PhD students. For the bachelor degrees, I really close to uh, Miyu and Sere and also uh, Shigeo, the one that wear uh, white, I'm sorry, the one that uh, in the card picture, like the, the one that we pay card. Uh, yeah, his name is Shigeo. And for the one that wear white shirt in the game card picture, her name is Sally. She is from China. Yes, but she is like the student there. Mm -hmm. But she is like a master degree student, not bachelor degree student. She really kind. She helped me a lot <laughs> and and we like to talk together because she wants to practice English with me. So the picture that I wear green shirt with a uh, green shirt. Um, so this one, my professor uh, Asham is handed my certificate that I complete this program. It was like the last day. Uh, I mean like the day that I leave Japan. So I went there, I went to my laboratory first and then I go to, and then I went to uh, the airport. Talk about my research topic. My research topic is biodegradability of newly synthesized polymer using Smirko. So this study aims is to uh, Accept my whether the newly synthesized polymer are uh, biodegradable or not by using micro. I have learned how to organize and plan my experiments widely from this program. I just uh, do the experiment and help my professor to check that the poly, I mean the newly synthesized polymer are biodegradable or not. And after this, I will talk about my activities with my lab member uh, because I really like to uh, make friends with them. And my first aim for this program, right? The first one is I want to learn how to uh, do the experiment, like the experiment that I interested in. And also the second one is like, I want to make new friends with Japanese people and I knew that Japanese people it's really shy you know so if they shy you have to be like the one that talking to them so you have to like find something to do with them right to um, get along with them so this one is my welcome party at Omiya Park uh, they, they did the welcome party for me because I'm new there to the laboratory. So we went to Omiya Park. Omiya Park, it's not only like a park, but they have like the shrine uh, near the park too. So I and Miyu and Sere went there, went to the shrine and then we make a wish. And it's really nice. Like they wish that they want to be like best friend with me. <laughs> And yes, I'm so happy about that. 
that they want to talk to me and being friend with me. Also, uh, we did like uh, play badminton together. I'm a bit shy too because I'm new there, but I try to talk as much as I can to make friends with all the seniors. Yes. So in this um, slide, I will talk like uh, the picture by picture. Start with the left hand side, left hand, the first one, the upper one, and then I will do like this, like this. Okay, the first picture, I went to um, have lunch with my lab member. Actually, we decided to, actually, it's only me and another two international uh, students, which is Shosani and Atira. Uh, we plan to have lunch at um, Indian restaurant, but then we feel that, um, should we ask the Japanese people like student to come with us and then they when we ask they want to join so yeah that was nice so we went out for lunch together at the indian restaurant and the second picture it's me sere chang and me you uh this one we went to sing karaoke get together and it was um, Sere Chang birthday. The one that in the front, yeah, is Sere Chang. She is really nice and kind. She tried to talk to me like in English. Even it's hard to communicate, but she still try with, yeah. I really impressed with that. Me you also nice too. She, uh, oh, and the, surprisingly, I and me, we have like the same birthday. So we, we, uh, we did like exchange our present to, uh, present together. Our birthday is on 15th of July. So 15th, oh no, not 15th July. I'm sorry. It's April 15th. Yes, it's April 15th. And the third, the third picture is uh, the picture that we pay Kim card together. Uh, usually, we really like to pay Kim card when we have to wait for um, the experiment to complete. Like we have, like we got free free time to to cure it. We have time to cure it, so we decided to pay Kim card together. Yeah, it was nice. And, and then for the fourth picture down there, um, we went to, actually me and Sae Chang want to go to Indian restaurant together with me. But unfortunately, uh, the Indian restaurant was closed. So we went to Tonkatsu place instead. And it was nice. And for the fifth, Fifth picture, it was um, Atira and Chaoseni farewell party because they are living before before me. So we uh, hold um, farewell party for them, and basically we just like have a uh, lunch together, and then we do chit chat thing, give the presents, and then um, say thank you to them that. Uh, they are really nice to me and then they are really good um, senior PhD student that help us a lot during our uh, during like the past uh, three months and the last picture is like the normal laboratory look like <laughs> when we uh, have free time when everyone complete their experiment for that day we are at like talking together, chit chatting, like exchange our um, uh, knowledge about our uh, experiment. Or if the younger have a problem, we can advise, like ask some advice from the senior, and they will help you. Even like uh, 
they don't know, but they still like helping you. Like they want to help you. As always, they are so nice. Also, this one is Tom Yum Nabe Party. Uh, actually, the Tom Yum Nabe Party is like the party for. It's like some kind of my travel party because I will leave before. Oh, I'm not. Um, like I will leave after Shasani and Atira sent by leaving. So, but I don't want to do like my farewell party alone, just only me. So I uh, told Atira and Shasani sent by to have like the party with me before she uh, they going back to Malaysia. And yeah, we did um Tom Yam Nabe party with our laboratory member. It was nice. Um, it was, uh, yummy too. I don't know why I cannot, like, play the videos, but, yeah, it's okay. Next is, uh, the travel experience. Um, there are many places to explore and many cultural stories to learn in Japan, right? And I hope that I can go explore Japan with uh, my lab member in the future too. Like because um, I didn't uh, travel a lot during my program because I, I set my priority first with my work. So I didn't go there. Uh, I didn't go explore Japan that much. I feel like I plan... The, to explore Japan after I finish my program, like the last week, I mean like the last week that I will leave Japan. But unfortunately, I um, I got COVID positive on that week. So the whole week I just do the quarantine and I didn't go uh, to travel and explore Japan. But yeah, it is what it is. Unfortunately, like I plan a lot to uh, to travel with my lab members. Like we plan to go to Yokohama and also uh, go to Ghibli Museum. But I got COVID positive, so yeah. But it it is okay. I think I will go there. To Japan again and explore it with my friend. So in this slide, I went to uh, show Showa Kainen Park. It's like the park that they will um, put the flower in every every seasons. Like the they have like the different types of flower, different kind of flower in each season. And the seasons that I went is like spring, right? And it will be tulips and the blue eye flower. I don't know the exact name, but yeah, it was nice there. And also this one with uh, Shosani. Actually, I went with Shosani and Atira a lot because um, yeah, we are international students. <laughs> so that's, that it's easy to talk. But I'm, I'm not like going with a uh, Japanese, but they are so busy. That's why we went. That's why it's only us go to travel together. So we went to Kawagoi. It is the like traditional old city in uh, Saitama prefecture. We went to the famous um, shrine. It's like the famous about love. It's like if you want to find good love, you should go this uh, to this shrine. And I went to uh, like catch the fish. It's like koi, and koi is like fish, right? It's like bahab in Thai, and koi in Japanese it means love too. So I went there to catch the fish. Yes, it it was nice. You should go if you go to Japan. I recommend it. And also this one is I went to Nikko National Park with yeah the same gang. <laughs> it's international student gang and also with my uh my uh 
uh, sensei and with my sensei professor as home we went together to nickel park we do like a little bit of hiking but it's like uh, the easy hiking we went there to see the waterfall which i forgot the name but it's really famous in nickel national park and if you go there you should go like do like the um hiking thing it's easy, it's not that hard. You can try it. It was nice experience. And also, uh, Asham Sensei asked me to go to like another place at to like Kamagura and also Hakone. But unfortunately, I have like so many um, experiment, like lab work to do. So I like, yeah, I, I didn't go with him. So for my a little bit of tips uh, and recommendation, I recommend you to go whether your professor asks you to go <laughs> because uh, they do know that uh, you will be there for four months. It's a short period, but they would like you to experience like um, almost everything in Japan. So, and it's, it is good. Uh, time to talk with your professor and be like close to your professor too because during the time that you go uh, to the place you went to you have to go by train right and you can like chit chat a little bit with your professor and then you can be like close to your professor yes it's good so if your professor asks you then you go you can manage it. I mean, like, you can manage your work for real. Yes, just go. It's a good chance, good opportunity to do it. Oh, let's talk about food. I really like food in Japan. I mean, like, everywhere I like food. Uh, there are many and varieties of food in Japan. Um, the one that I really like the most is sushi. <laughs> of course, I went, like, I really like sushi. And then uh, also like another type, another type of um, Japanese uh, food, or maybe like Italian Japanese style food. It's also good too. So you can try like many kind of food here in Japan. And from my tips, it is better to go out to eat at lunch because uh, at lunch time it's cheaper than dinner time so my tips is go out to eat for lunch and then cook for dinner <laughs> it's really like cheaper but if you really 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 want to go out for dinner it's okay but you have to um like calculate your budget that are you going to have m enough money to stay in the whole month <laughs> yes but it depends on people but for me i do uh, like i go out for lunch and then for dinner i just cook by myself so i can save money next let's talk about sat global dormitory as you can see uh, this building is global dormitory the place that I am stay during my program. It was nice place to stay and to meet new friends. I met like fabulous friends from many country from this uh, dormitory. And this one is like all uh, the, um, the room tour, some kind of room tour. <laughs> so they have, they provide like beds for you, um, study table, closet um uh, the shelf for putting the stuff hanger they also provide you like um bathroom inside your room so you have your own bathroom and in the bathroom they have like the toilet and then also the shower and they provide um offer bath it's like the bath that you can do the offer so nice and for the monthly paid it's 
it's cheaper than um, outside. Like it's cheaper than you fight it by yourself. So in this one, in this light, uh, here are my frame in the global dormitory SIT. So I made new friend here. Uh, they are Japanese, um, Brazilian, uh, Malaysia, Malaysian, yeah, Indonesian, Taiwanese. Yeah, a lot, a lot of um country, <laughs> and also like um, Dutch too. They they are they are from like Netherlands. They're so nice. We did many activities together and we really like to uh, do the parties like uh, there are five floor I mean four floor four floor in this building five floor the first one it's like just the first one is like no rooms and then second third fourth it will be for boys and then the fifth floor it's like all girls so we usually uh, do the party at the fifth floor like girl party <laughs> together it was nice also um our dormitory they hold like tanabata festival so all the dorm mates like dorm member can join this event so basically we just uh, eat half um barbecue party and then doing firework and then take a picture like took a picture a lot of picture and then we uh turn about that we have to write that our witch and then we will hang it uh with the bamboo tree <laughs> it was nice and also as i already said that uh, fifth floor, we uh, we did like many parties together, and also this one too is um, takoyaki party. Actually, they did this party because they would like to do like see you again party. Because I'm going to leaving, uh, leave the dorm first. But yes, I um I changed my flight, so the first one that going to leave the dorm first will be Fadwar, the girls with um this gray hijab she was cool and really really good friend she usually like accompany me in time every like every time when i go to my laboratory like late night something like that really appreciate her love you fatwar and also um the glc global learning commons is the place that support and holds where I um like various activities for both international students and Japanese students. I met international students and Japanese friends from participating in activity as GLC, such as this festival, Tanabata Festival. In this activity, I learned about how uh, to wear the yukata. One type of kimono usually worn in summer and summer activities. Most of the activities hold by um, GLC are associated with the international culture. And then we can discuss like uh, what is the difference be between like our culture and Japanese culture. So we understand each other like culture and each background better and feel like more international, like more globalized, something like that. It's really nice. And from this slide, I took um, the picture from my friend. Like he took the photos and then he uploaded in the website. So I took it. So if you want to see more picture about um, this Tanabata festival, if you interest that, you can uh, go to this website and see the picture more. Yes, it was nice. I really like the yukata. Look at it, it's so cute. Um, yeah, here is like all the experience that I um, have.
during the program. And lastly, I would like to thank to Shibara Institute of Technology for providing this program and giving me the scholarship. Also, I was so grateful for all the support and advice from Center uh, International Affair or CIA and International, oh, I'm sorry, International Collaborative Education Center that's allowed me to do the internship uh, aboard and give me the scholarship too. I was so lucky that I got to know and participated in this program. Thank you very much and hope that uh, you will really want to come too. So yeah, thank you so much.